Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at the stereo out and the master faders inside of our mixer and how we can actually get them to show up here with all of our other tracks. So that's something that we sometimes want to do mostly for automation reasons, but also maybe just to also have it up here so you don't necessarily have to look at the mixer to have access to them. So they're a little bit different. The stereo output can have effects on it and you can also bounce just the stereo output. Now the reason why this one just says stereo output and there's a master which may seem redundant, but if I had a multi output device, I would have additional faders for each of them. They'd have each of them would have their own output channel. Now the master refers to the entire thing. And if you look up in the top right corner here, this volume attaches to that master. So if I want to fade out like an entire mix with all the outputs, I would do it at the master. But the stereo is also a great place to be able to put effects and do some mastering type things for each of your outputs. Now, when I come to this, you can see it says show output track. If I click on that, it's going to show up down here at the bottom. And the reason why it's here and you can't actually move it, it gets locked into place. But we could, if we wanted to come through here and add different parts of automation for this output. Now with the master, I right click on it and I don't get to just show the track because it doesn't exist up here like the output does. That one's always there, just as hidden or shown. This one, you actually have to create the track. It's control T and it's right here. And this one we can actually move around if we want to. But this is where I will typically come through and do a little bit of automation for my track. So we're gonna put a point there, put a point here. We'll move this down. We are going to do, let's see, I don't have that turned on right now. Let's go to our automation curve tool. Yeah, I wanna do it like that. There we go. Now, when this plays out, the level will change of the whole song. And there we have it. So that's the way that we can work with these two tracks up here in our main window by adding them up. Just so you know, those are not the only two tracks which don't show up in that area. So if we click on our filters here, we can see a single channel and all the things that go with that channel, or we can show our tracks which tie up into the main window. And then we have all, and things down here, like the preview, this is our preview function. We can change where our preview is routed and what effects are on it. And we have a few other things here. We have our click track here with our actual click track unit. If you want to alter that, we could, if we wanted to create a track for this too, and have our click track up inside of our track area. So now I've, I've got the click track here. You can see it's solo safed. And it actually is like a, an instrument track, so you could actually record a click in there. But this is always there if you have the click turned on right up here, this click. And it attaches into this one area. So not everything you see is in both places. And sometimes you have to choose which ones you want to be there and which ones you don't. Anyway, just a short tip about these the stereo out and the master out and tracks that are shown and not shown. Hope you enjoyed this little bit of inf information and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and come back for more.